Let's get to the final trade of the day with Mike Patton. He's the head trader at Funder Trading. Mike, what's your trade for us? Hey, thanks everyone. So my trade of the day is symbol SYY. That is Cisco with an S Corporation. They're a company that makes a variety of food products, including like meats, uh, breads, et cetera. And um, it's a pretty big company, has over 71,000 employees, but it looks like they're a great opportunity right now for a potential buy. Uh, right now, the stock is around $81 a share. And um, looking at its fundamentals, they're very solid. And also looking at its current valuation, it's really on the lower end of the spectrum. And I do think this is a very attractive stock right now, considering inflation and all the other uncertainties out there in the markets. This looks like a brand that I think most people will be comfortable holding in their portfolios. So we're looking at a potential upside of somewhere in the neighborhood of 87 to maybe $91 a share over the next six months or less, potentially. But we also have to look at the potential downside. Uh, currently, I think that if the stock gets down to about $78 a share, which will be about $3 lower than where it is now, that might give some reason for me to doubt the uh, overall picture that I just gave you. But otherwise, it looks like it's pretty solid. Earnings growth is good, et cetera. So I do think this is a good player. So hopefully this one plays out the way I expect. You mentioned inflation. As you know, it's mostly food prices that Americans are struggling with. And in France, stores are telling food producers to lower prices or it's not going on the shelf. Yes. And the reason I think that that's the safest bet is because that's the one thing we can't get rid of. We have to still eat. So I do think that at the end of the day, when people cut back under um, more expensive times like we're seeing now, Usually we see cutbacks in leisure activities, like people go on fewer vacations. I don't hear anyone saying they're going to cut back on eating. Now, going out to restaurants, perhaps, but this company, they have products that they sell across the spectrum. So it's not just that you have to go to a restaurant to get it. So I do think they're in a good position to continually make some profits. Um, doesn't mean they're necessarily going to, you know, people are going to spend as much, but overall, I do think that that's one area where it's unlikely we're going to see a really strong decline in purchasing. So I do think that's a safer bet. Great trader talk. Thank you, Mike. No problem. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.